are so loud. And I'm like, ye ghas pus kyu kha rahe hain? Vegan. This hummus does not taste like hummus. It tastes like shit. The current government is out of their mind. They will definitely throw some attitude, but they will never say sorry. They will wear a t-shirt and shorts to office. The most unplanned, expensive city in the world. And I'm an Indian. I'm just like, I, sometimes I cannot process and understand why they do this, but it's just like the way this country functions. Why are Israelis rude? And why are they obsessed with salads for breakfast? And how do they openly criticize the government without any consequences? Yeah, big guy, yeah, government. And why do they take their shakshuka and hummus so seriously? These are things that only Israelis do and think it's normal. And this is going to be very interesting because this is from an Indian perspective. I have a special announcement at the end of the video, so keep watching. Israelis love their salads. And I'm like, yeah, ghas pus kyu khar? Vegan. I mean, they take their salads pretty seriously. In fact, a classic Israeli breakfast consists of hummus, dips, eggs, bread, and some salad. But who eats salad for breakfast? I know, Israelis. But they also have it for lunch and dinner. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they have salads for dessert. Israelis do not know how to say sorry. They will definitely throw some attitude, but they will never say sorry. So the other day, I was boarding a bus and this lady pushed me. And then I looked at her and then she gave me a side eye and she goes... Chal, chal, and I'm like, where are your manners, lady? Why can't you say sorry? You pushed me. Our is like are so loud. So you go to a restaurant and you hear a bunch of Israelis laughing at the top of their voices till your eardrums explode. Buses, dance class, swimming pool, and even my own house. They're just so loud, but I guess it's just the way it is. Israelis do not know how to stand in lines. We joke about it all the time. Shouldn't it be a part of the idea of training and discipline? But no, the time they get out, it's back to square one. And it's not just the lines at the restaurants, it's also while driving, they are pretty good at cutting lines. Israelis love to criticize. Day and night, every second of the day, they love to criticize. This hummus does not taste like hummus, it tastes like shit. The current government is out of their mind. They're of no use. Everything in Israel is so expensive. My pockets are empty. Having food, shelter, and even having a girlfriend. I will have to sell my kidneys. And if there was to be a criticism competition, Israelis would win it. Israelis' dressing sense is just... <sighs> That's tough. I think at this point, it's not even fixable, but I don't think they care. They will wear a t-shirt and shorts to office. I mean, the dressing sense is pretty informal and casual, but somebody who comes from India, we were always taught to wear formal wear to office. And I'm just like, yeah, cricket khelne hai kya? And the weddings are just hilarious. They will just throw on an unironed shirt with jeans. And I'm like, where is your effort? This is a wedding. Dress nicely, wear something nice. At least if you're wearing a shirt, iron it. And I'm like, thank you or I say like, the final one, my favorite, Tel Avivian thinks Tel Aviv is the best city in Israel. In fact, most non-Tel Avivians dislike Tel Avivians and Tel Avivians think Israelis are obsessed with them. I mean, come on, they clearly live in a bubble. In spite of Tel Aviv being the most unplanned, expensive city in the world, these guys live in Delulu. Every country has something peculiar and these are some things that I feel like Israelis do every now and then and I'm just like... And I've been living here for four and a half years now and I'm an Indian and I'm just like... I, sometimes I cannot process and understand why they do this but it's just like the way this country functions. But it's very very interesting and I am so glad that I got to share with you guys. Now for the announcement. I recently launched Moses in Israel memberships for an affordable price. This is a way to support me financially and help this channel grow. My members get first priority for video features, live stream replies and access to my personal post. I frequently give my members a chance to hop on exclusive calls with me as well. If you love my content and believe in Moses in Israel, I would invite you to join my membership club. The link is in the description. You are literally a few clicks away from being a member of the Moses in Israel community. That's it for this video and I will see you next time.